I hate. <laughs> Where are we going next? This was the starting point of my journey. That's why it's the perfect place to decide my future. As I go forward in life, what exactly do I want to do? can't decide right now. Whoa, awesome! I... This is your hometown, right, Ferris? Show me around to the best spots in town. What layer should I make?
cat layer should I make? This is Ferris' hometown. It's a wonderful place. As I go forward in life, do I want to do? All right, I've decided. This is what I want to do.
One day, Ferris happened upon the mysterious power called alchemy. After her long journey, Ferris was completely enchanted by this power. Her goal became the mastery of alchemy. To that end, she zealously continues her research to this day. Hey, we see you're hard at work today too. What are you making this time? Ah, you two! Today, I'm trying to make medicine that improves luck. Oh? And why, may we ask? People would be happier if they have good luck. It feels great when you win a lottery, right? <laughs> the power of alchemy is so grand. Yet what you're trying to do is so trivial. Hey, that's terrible! <sighs> is it really that bad? <laughs> Still, it seems like her alchemy skills are improving steadily. That's right. How far will she end up going? We're a little excited to see. Although we shouldn't tell her that. 
scrap that. I'll come up with an even more amazing item. The swordsman, Revy, sought to become the strongest in the land while searching for treasure. Fierus was most impressed. Seeking to become stronger and looking for adventure in various lands, these two continue exploring ruins. Although, seeing how they both have a few loose screws, their journey isn't exactly easy. It should be in here. The greatest treasure we've been looking for. Let's open it. Yeah! It's here! So, this is it. <laughs> With this, I can... Huh? Wait a second. Did you hear something just now? Hmm? Now that you mention it, you're right... Wow! I'm fine. It seems that was a fake. Well, whatever. Let's go and find the next one, Ferris. Um, okay. But we should at least treat your wounds. <sighs> it's nothing. I can handle a wound like this. <clears throat> As one of the guiding tribe, Cald was tasked to chronicle history. Ferris took great interest in his stories. She decided to travel with Cald and chronicle history of various lands with him in the pursuit of knowledge. For Ferris, this would be a journey that truly piqued her sense of curiosity. Fearis, take a look. There's a stone monument in a place like this. Oh, you're right. These letters. Hmm. Is this from about 200 years ago? No, it's likely older than that. I would say about 300 years. Considering the history of this area, it could be a warning message to designate a national border. Hmm, I see. But it could also be a sign saying that this is a sightseeing spot, or something like that. <laughs> I never even thought of that, but I wouldn't say it's impossible. Anyway, for verification purposes, we should transcribe this message. Right. I wonder what the people of the past really wrote this for. All right, it's done. We should search this area a little more. Ah, that's a good idea! I wonder what we'll find next! Angriff, the traveling mercenary. The reason he had been saving money was to build a school. Ferris started working at his school as a teacher and taught alchemy. 
However, with Angriff as principal, the work's not exactly easy. All right, I see you're all here. Today's lesson is how to make money. You need money to do anything, after all. That's why I'm going to teach you everything I know. Teacher, I thought today's lesson was going to be alchemy. What? Really? Well, whatever. I'm the principal. This is within my power. <laughs> hey! Just what do you think you're doing? Ah, uh, it's Miss Ferris. You told me to fix that broken toolbox. So we did. But this is what you were really planning? How many times has it been now? I'm not going to forgive you this time. <laughs> Interesting. Then I guess we're going to have to have a showdown to see who gets to teach today. Fine. That's just what I wanted. I'm definitely going to teach alchemy today. You can do it, Mr. Angriff. Don't lose, Miss Ferris. Well, I guess today's going to be self-study again. Sheesh. Angriff, you need to act more like a real principal. Oscar, a young man who can hear the voices of plants. Ferris also gained the power to hear the voices of materials. After parting with a plant named Chelsea, they were determined to befriend plants around the world. A journey of two people who can converse with plants it would be just a little different from an ordinary journey. Hey, look, Ferris. There's a pretty flower blooming here. I've never seen one like this before. It might be a type of tawn. Uh, really? It doesn't look much like a tawn to me. <sighs> Are you saying you don't trust my judgment? That's not really what I'm trying to say, but... I just don't think it looks like a tawn. Alright then. In that case... Hey, excuse me. You're a type of tawn, right? Hey, he's wrong, isn't he? You aren't a type of tawn, are you? Ferris, you can't say it like that. You're scaring it. Y you're the one at fault! You're the one who's scaring it! <laughs> it doesn't matter what this plant's called? Yeah, it doesn't matter what species it is, it's still an individual. Yep. Anyway, back to the point. Um, excuse me. Would you like to be our friend? Heinz was born into a tribe that raised monsters. During their journey, he approved of Ferris as his partner. As Ferris spent time with him, a certain faint feeling began to bud within her. While unable to honestly admit her own feelings, she still decided to continue traveling with him. Sometime later... All right, that should take care of it. Yeah, that was impressive! You just keep getting stronger, Heinz! That's only natural. I'm training every day to prepare for the time when I meet the strongest of monsters. Haha! <laughs> you can rely on me anytime! 
<laughs> I'll do that when the time comes. Hmm? I think I just heard a noise. Wait, ah! W whoa Speaking of which, that was fast! Ferris, stay behind me! I'll defeat this one! Yeah! Wow! You really did beat it! I told you so! You can rely on me anytime! Pines! Um, actually, there's something I want to tell you. Tell me, what is it? Yeah, um, I'm sorry this is so sudden, but... Heinz, I... Ferris's older sister, Liana. During their journey, Ferris learned the truth about her parentage. They weren't actually sisters. However, the bonds shared by these two needed no such relation. Their irreplaceable memories of time spent together were more important than ties of blood ever could be. These two close sisters continue their journey to this very day. Hey, there's a sign! What's it say? One way leads to a forest, the other way leads to a mountain. That's right. It's written on the map, but both ways look rough. What should we do? Hmm, let's see. Then let's go to the mountain! I'm sure the view from there will be better! <laughs> that sounds just like something you'd say. Then let's head to the mountain. But is it really okay? Do you actually want to go to the forest? Nope. If we head down the path you chose, well, it won't be boring at the very least. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I know we've been heading down a lot of tough paths lately, but... <laughs> That's just part of the fun of traveling. I like it at least. I see. Then it's fine. Let's get going! We head to that big mountain over there! Yeah, I can already guess. You want to climb to the summit, don't you? Of course! All right, Leah, follow me! Ferris's meeting with an alchemist named Sophie was what led to her leaving Ertona for the first time. Sophie had a certain dream to bring happiness to everyone with alchemy. Having decided to travel together, her dream gradually became Ferris's dream as well. Are you ready, Ferris? Yeah, I'm all set. Sorry for the wait. Don't worry, it's fine. This will probably end up being a long journey after all. I think it's good to be overprepared. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> what is it? You have a rather soft expression on your face. Nothing much. I started thinking that we get to keep traveling together. <laughs> I see. I'm happy that we get to travel together too. I feel the same way. Although, I also feel like I have another apprentice to keep watch over now. Hey, you're always so quick to say things like that, Plakta. I don't know about me. But you don't need to keep watch over Ferris. 
So you agree that you require it? Oh, um, that's not really... <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> anyway, we should get going. Yes, we don't have a particular destination, but our goal is clear. Yeah, our goal is to bring happiness to everyone through alchemy. That's right! I'm sure we can do it! All right then, let's set out, Beerus! Fearis and Elmeria met during their travels, honing themselves, sometimes as friends, sometimes as rivals. The two of them decided to open an atelier together in a certain town. While they still quarreled over who's more skilled, this unique pair quickly grew popular across the land. And yet again today, their atelier is visited by numerous customers. Are you done with that yet? Yeah, I just finished making the bomb that was requested. What? The request wasn't for a bomb, it was for gunpowder. Wait, was it? Really? Really? Look, it's written right here on the form. What are we going to do? We won't finish it in time at this rate! Uh, you're right! What should we do, Will? Sheesh! I have no choice. We're going to split up the work. If we both work on it starting now, we should barely make it. Oh, thank you! <laughs> They're always getting along so well whenever I see them. That's right. <laughs> it brings a smile to my face. Wait, this isn't good. We don't have enough materials. W what did you say? Ah, come on. We're going to go and gather them now. Move it. O okay. Hey, wait up. Fearis met a father and daughter duo of puppeteers, Drossel and Fritz. Inspired by their passion for the art, she set off on a journey with them to perform the greatest puppet show. A show featuring this novice puppeteer opens today on a certain street corner. However, she still has much to learn. So... You've finally shown yourself, evil swordsman Fritz. I, Plakta, alchemist of justice, shall defeat you. Taste my bomb throw of judgment! Hey, Fyrus, you're up now. What? Hang on, just a second. <laughs> what did you do to end up like this? Oh. Uh, ahem. <laughs> Plakta, as you can see, I've taken this girl hostage. If you want her back safely, bow down and submit to me! <laughs> Uh, ah! Please hurry up and untie me!
Furious met the timid knight Shannon during her journey. Shannon grew greatly during her travels with Furious. Likewise, influenced by Shannon, Furious decided to follow the path of a knight as well. The one who would go on to instruct Furious about the knightly path was Shannon herself, having become a true knight. Listen well, Furious. The first duty of a knight in training is to help those in need. Wait, she's not here? F Furious! Where did you go? Oh, sorry, Shannon. There was someone lost over there, so I gave them directions. Settings. Lieutenant? No way. That's so much faster than me. N no! I still have a lot to learn! Please teach me more, Shannon. I... I want to become an admirable knight as soon as I can, too! Virus. Okay, I understand. I'm going to work you relentlessly, so prepare yourself! Be careful. Anyway, next you need to train your body. Let's go for a run outside! Yes! Just what I was hoping for! Having found alchemy and having visited many places, Ferris's experiences were countless in number. Along her journey, she found what she wanted to do in life. It wasn't possible to choose only one thing, however. Her determination was bold and daring. She decided to do everything that she wanted to do. Furious's mysterious journey would likely continue on forever. Now then, where shall we go next, teacher? Let's see. How about we visit Adelet next? Adelet. Plakta, what would be the best way to get there? Let me think. If we took a detour here, then... Hey, Furious! We've never seen the ruins over there before! You're right! Alright, teacher. We should go take a look! Yeah, we should! In that case... Yup! Alright then!